بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters May Allah peace be upon you First of all I would like to thank Allah for allowing me to show you a hadith Today I will show you a hadith from Sahih Al-Bukhari If I make mistakes while explaining a hadith I expect you will exonerate me I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed shaitan in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful Hadith of the day from Sahih Al-Bukhari Revelation book 1 hadith 3 Narrated Aisha radi Allahu anha the mother of the faithful believers The commencement of the divine inspiration to Allah's messenger peace be upon him was in the form of good dreams which came through like bright daylight and then the love of seclusion was bestowed upon him He used to go in seclusion in the cave of Hira where he used to worship Allah alone continuously for many days before his desire to see his family He used to take with him the journey food for the stay and then come back to his wife Khadija to take his food likewise again till suddenly the truth descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira The angel came to him and asked him to read The prophet peace be upon him replied I do not know how to read The prophet peace be upon him added The angel caught me forcefully and pressed me so hard that I could not bear it any more He then released me and again asked me to read and I replied I do not know how to read Thereupon he caught me again and pressed me a second time till I could not bear it any more He then released me and again asked me to read but again I replied I do not know how to read or what shall I read Thereupon he caught me for the third time and pressed me and then released me and said Read in the name of your Lord who has created all that exists created man from a clot Read and your lord is the most generous chapter 96 verse 1 2 3 then alas messenger peace be upon him returned with the inspiration and with his heart beating severely then he went to khadija bint khuwailid and said cover me cover me they covered him till his fear was over and after that he told her everything that had happened and said i fear that something may happen to me khadija replied never By Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep good relations with your kith and kin, help the poor, serve your guests generously, and assist the deserving calamity afflicted ones. Khadija then accompanied him to her cousin Waraka bin Nawfal bin Asad bin Abdul Azza, who during the pre-Islamic period became a Christian and used to write the writing with Hebrew letters. He would write from the Gospel in Hebrew as much as Allah wished him to write. He was an old man and had lost his eyesight. Khadija said to Waraka, "Listen to the story of your nephew, O oh my cousin." Waraka asked, "O oh my nephew, what have you seen?" Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, described whatever he had seen. Waraka said, "This is the same one who keeps the secrets, angel Gabriel, whom Allah had sent to Moses. I wish I were young and could live up to the time when your people would turn you out." Allah's messenger peace be upon him asked will they drive me out Waraka replied in the affirmative and said any one man who came with something similar to what you have brought was treated with hostility and if i should remain alive till the day when you will be turned out then i would support you strongly but after a few days waraka died and the divine inspiration was also paused for a while reference sahih al bukhari revelation in book reference book 1 hadith 3 Great Sahi thank you so much for watching my acknowledgement subscribe like share and comment and never forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming content